one of the major engines of the God's will to produce energy is turning. You turn your shoulders, abs, hips, and legs. This turning of core, shoulders, and hips has two major elements. One of them is lateral turning, like this. The other one is twisting up, coiling up, winding up, spiraling up, and spiraling down. One of the elements is lateral turning. You turn laterally. Why we call it lateral? Because when you see it, when you view the application of it, you see the lateral movement in this kind of turning. Whereas in the other side of the turning, which is winding up, spiraling up, the up and down movement like this. From the point of view of the golfer, whereas the viewer of the golfer see the right and left movement of the body, in the other one, which is vertical turning, which is winding up, twisting up, spiraling up, viewers see the peoples moving up and down while they are turning. We divide the golf swings into two lateral movement dominant golf swings, twisting up dominant golf swing. To me, those swings, which are mainly dominant in the spiraling up and spiraling down, is vertical swing. Please don't confuse this vertical swing and lateral swing sort of category with the flat swing and upright swing, which is mainly the, the position of the lead hand on top of the swing. This flat swing, upright swing are totally different category than the lateral swing and vertical swing. Don't get confused with these two concepts. Is there any coach known in the golfing industry teaching vertical swing? Yes, there is. And very famous one is Martin Ayers, the only coach who teaches vertical swing in the world. I'm not sure whether he himself agrees with me that he teaches vertical swing. In fact, I don't care whether he agrees with me or not. If, even if he doesn't agree with me, it still doesn't change the very fact that he continues to teach the vertical swing. What is mainly vertical swing? You can hardly find any tips in Martin Ayer's teaching. Teaches the basics. You locate your ball. Try for this perpendicular to the target line, square to the target line, whereas the lead foot is 10 o'clock. Frail foot, 12 o'clock, lead foot, 10 o'clock position. In the vertical swing, you move laterally, you move within very small distances. You have to slot the movements of your shoulders so that you create consistency and accuracy and repeatability and stability in your swing. This is, white one is your ball, and you are aiming to hit the white one. Red one is the mirror image of your ball. There are two balls. The white one is your ball, and the red one is the mirror image of your ball. In the back swing, your left shoulder points to the red one, to the mirror image of your ball, and covers at the top of the back swing, covers the rail heel. On the back swing, with your left shoulder, you first point the red ball, the mirror image of your ball, and then cover the lead heel, like this. 
one downstream. You point with your right shoulder to your ball and after the impact, you cover your lead heel with your right shoulder. If you repeat it on the back swing, you point the mirror image and cover the cover the tray heel without changing. Left shoulder, mirror image ball, your ball, right shoulder. Pointing and covering the respective heel, pointing and covering the respective heel. You see, you hear the sound of silky, velvety sound of smooth impact. Great job. So the main advantage of your vertical swing, by which you slot your shoulder moves. Shoulder moves, in other words, shoulder turns. I intentionally don't say shoulder turn because it's not in fact a turn. It's a twisting up, it's a winding up, spiraling up kind of action. It's not turning at all. Turning t implies something else. Turning implies some lateral movement kind of thing, which in the golf swing, we don't em employ this sort of action at all. In the vertical swing, you automatically slot your shoulder turns. It creates accuracy, consistency, and reliability, repeatability in your swing. Attacking your ball, you know, you're pressing the bottom with your trail foot. You are attacking your ball, then your lead foot at 10 o'clock. Watching. 